family and friends. Give all praises and honors to the Holy Trinity, to our pastor, our bishop, Bishop Bolton, and his absence to our faithful, our ministers of the gospel, deacons, mothers, church family, and friends. These are announcements, and I am going to be as brief as I possibly can. So just bear with me. We've got something to go through, but just bear with me. I'm going quickly as possible. As we know, we do begin Sunday with Sunday school at 9.45 and at the Quakers Worship Hour. We have Bible class every Tuesday at noon, day, the hour of power, and then at 7 p.m. via the prayer line number. Each Wednesday at 8 p.m. is our prayer line. Every last Saturday of the month is Women of Integrity at 1 p.m. On every third Sunday, our youth department itself does itself for today. These are our ongoing upcoming events. Today we are entering into climaxing and celebrating the Costas Appreciation Weekend. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Next Saturday, March 26th, will be Fish Fry, Wings, and Game Day. That morning hot fish and wings will be sold to the public from 10.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Prices are Two-piece fish with two sides and bread is $10. This is white as well as pilaf. Our sides are fries, coleslaw, baked beans, or grits. Or you can get 10-piece wings and fries for $10. This will be plain, lemon, pepper, mild, or hot wing. For an additional $1, you can purchase a soda. From 2.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., those that are wanting to participate in game day, we will be coming on the inside for the church for games and fun activities. Also, as part of our Pastor's Appreciation Fundraiser, we are have raffle tickets for sale. They're still on sale. Uh, one ticket is $3. Two tickets are 5 for a chance for the basketball raise, the day night spa, and relaxation as well as the spa.
to tell the young men about what God has brought you through and what God has what God is taking you to. The men of Valley, y'all men need to get together and y'all need to talk. Young, from the youngest to the oldest. And for some reason tonight I prayed for you on New Year's Eve. I told my son, I said, I want you to meet him. I said, I don't know, I said, something about y'all, I want y'all to connect. I said, I want you to meet him. You're younger than him, but still, I want y'all to commit. I said, there's something about him and you that y'all need to meet. So I want, I want y'all to meet. I don't know what I told him, but it's something. But men of Bella, tell about y'all's story. Praise the name of Jesus. Come and give the Lord a praise on you. Here today by God's grace. 
Amen. Lord, we thank you today for your word. We thank you. We thank you. And uh, let us pray before we get into the word. I got some, some big old notes here. <laughs> they big this morning. Be for the blind. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm I'm for the blind. So that I may be able to see you better. Yes, Amen. Amen. Let's go before the Lord with the word of prayer. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, we praise you, Lord, and we thank you too, Lord God, for this time, Lord God. Oh Lord God, we know that. It is because of your grace, Lord God, that we are here at this very present moment, Lord. Lord, I thank you for your word today, dear Lord God. Lord, I even thank you, Lord God, for the soul that is going to be saved on today, dear Lord God. Oh, Lord God, I just thank you. Father, I just ask, Lord, that you would use me in a mighty way, Lord. I said, Lord, fill me up with your Holy Spirit, Lord. And let your Holy Spirit speak through me, dear Lord God. Oh, Lord God, I pray, Lord, that people will hear and take heed to your word, Lord God. And Father God, we is forever going to give your name praise. I thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. We do thank God for Bishop and his absent him and First Lady, uh, Lady Bolton, they, uh, he's preaching another at another church anniversary today. Amen. So we do thank God for him and Lady Bolton. Amen. 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 <laughs> today, uh, I'm going to be coming from St. Luke chapter 15. And I'll be reading verses 10 through 32. I want to read the whole parable today. I don't want to take for granted that everyone has heard it and have read it. So we're going to take time to Read the entire parable. Amen. 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 If you would like, you can stand. If, if you uh, prefer to stay seated. Verse 10 says, Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. And he said a certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that followed to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together, and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many highest servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. 
And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hands and shoes on his feet, and bring hither the fatty of calf and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his elder son was in the field, and he came and drew nigh to the house. He heard music and dancing, and he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father hath killed the fatty of calf, because he had received him safe and sound. And he was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. And he answering said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgress I at any time thy commandment, and yet thou never gavest me a kid that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this thy son was come, which have devoured thy living with harness, thou hast killed for him the fatty of calf. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead and is alive again, and was lost and is found. Amen. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First John, what now? 
said, I want to extend the invitation to you and invite you to come back home to Jesus. Now, now, I'm not talking about come back to church. That's not what I'm talking about today. Today, I am talking about come back to Jesus because with Jesus, it is the best place for you to be. Some of you have left home. Some of you have left your first love. And I want to invite you back home to Jesus because in my father's house, he got everything that you need. Whatever you need, God got it. Now, let me tell you a little bit for those of you who may not know what is in my father's house. There is love, joy, peace, healing, deliverance, protection, prosperity, strength, rest, food when you're hungry, water when you're thirsty, and it is a shelter for you in the time of your smoke. So I want to invite you to come back home to Jesus because it is the best place for you to be. Now, now I hear, I hear, I hear somebody saying, Minister Allen, what are you talking about today? I hear you saying, don't you see me? I'm in the building. I'm at church. And yes, yes, I do see you, and I do hear you, but I also hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that your body is here, but your heart is on the other side of town where your treasures are, and you need to come on back home to Jesus while you still have Now he was the 
the one who stayed home. But he stayed home, but he really wasn't at home because he was self-righteous. He believed in his own righteousness and works. He thought that his own righteousness and works was the way to salvation. But Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says that we are saved by grace through faith. And it is not of ourselves. But it is the gift of God and not of works, lest any man should boast. So now this eldest son, he stayed home, but he really wasn't at home because he believed in his own righteousness and worked instead of grace. So now let me tell you about the younger son, the one who is known as the prodigal son. My, my, my. Now we know that the word prodigal means when someone spends lavishly, foolishly, or wastefully. And it also means when one returns after an absence. So now we know that all these things are true about this prodigal son. We know that what he did, how he spent, and, and we know all of this. But there is something else about him that I want to talk about today. Now, I want you to notice after this prodigal son, after his father had blessed him and he received his blessing. He began to believe and to think that he no longer needed his father for anything anymore. After his father gave him the portion of his inheritance, he began to believe and to think that he no longer even needed to be in his father's house. Because he thought that he was good. He thought that he no longer needed his father for anything anymore. So he left home. And if the truth be told, and I will be telling the truth today, there are some believers of Jesus Christ after the Lord has blessed them and they see themselves prospering in life, they start to think and believe that they no longer need the Lord Jesus for anything anymore. Likewise, when they get a little money or a little honey, Jesus. 
have for us and humble yourself unto the Lord. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Serious message. Serious message. It's about your soul being saved. It is about your life. I'm not here to entertain you. That's not what I came to do. The Lord has given me a word especially for you. I don't know who you are, but I know the Lord knows who you are. Why you can't 
spend time oh. with the Lord and in his word. Yes. Now I'm telling you yeah, yeah. the end story mm -hmm. about this prodigal son. Yeah. And I want you to take heed. All right. So it got so bad for him and he decided that it was better for him in his father's house and, and he couldn't make it without him. So he decided yep, yep. that he would go back home. Uh -huh. So he made a U-turn <laughs> and he went back to his father's house right. where there is love, yeah, yeah. joy, right. peace. Jesus. Yeah. 